Hey everybody, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. So today, I'm going to teach you how to teleport the character. Um, we're, we teleport it in a similar way to to Jimmy. The way we teleported, oops, the way we teleported Jimmy. I think he still has his, uh, yeah. So, remember we set Jimmy's C-frame to what he already is at, plus a new vector 3 value. Um, and we're going to teleport the character in kind of the same way. You obviously notice, what is this? I just barely made this, so don't worry, you didn't miss any episodes or anything. If, I mean, you know, <laughs> um, if you haven't. Uh, but yeah, I made this new island just for fun. Just, because I, um, yeah, never mind. Uh, random brick hair. I'm going to show you what this is, what this is for in a minute. Okay, so I have changed the buttons. I've, um... You can see two new buttons up here, which um, they are going to obviously do exactly what they say. One's going to teleport us to this new rock island, and the other one is going to teleport us back home. Now, let me show you how we're going to do that. I've got the two buttons, and you can see the two buttons in the explorer here. First, we're going to work on the rock. Um, teleport to rock island. You saw nothing. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to kind of show what uh, I'm gonna script right in front of you guys so I just got rid of everything that we had in the button before and then I just I just changed the function name now what we're going to do is do whatever we want in this function what do we want to do we want to teleport the character to Rock Island so how do we do that um, well obviously we need well maybe this isn't obvious uh, think about it first. What are we going to do? Um, we need to get the character, right? Because we need to teleport the character. We need to get the character's torso. We're going to teleport the character's torso to this place. How do we get the character's torso using a GUI button, you might ask? Um, I'm going to show you how. So, when we use... Actually, what we're going to say is player equals... Um, game dot players dot local player. Okay, what that does. Um, keep in mind, you can only use this if you're in a local script. You can see that we're in a local script over here because it has that little, you know, it's called a local script and it has the icon. That's what we're working with. So, player. Let's see. Player equals game dot players dot local player. You can use this this line to get the player that the button belongs to and uh, why this works don't ask it just does <laughs> um, a lot of things are that way in scripting and when we when we do this when we get a when we get the player in this in this way we usually want to just add a little weight here because sometimes if you don't have the weight it it, it just doesn't work sometimes but um, another way to get the player and if, if you're using a regular script instead of a local script, um, then you would say um, player equals scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. Okay, why is that? <laughs> so if you look over here, um, actually let me explain. Oops. I need to go to play solo. And we're going to look in the player here. If we go to the Rock Island Teleport button and we go to the script, well, what is the player? We can just get it by using parent dot parent dot parent. And let me show you how. So the button is the script's the the script's parent. So we're going to say parent dot parent, and the screen GUI is the button's parent. So start over from the script. So script dot parent dot parent dot parent which is the player GUI dot parent which is the player and you would you would do that if you were doing um, if you were using a regular script for whatever reason but we don't have to because doing it this way is more convenient game dot players dot local player um, okay so now now we just have to teleport the player's character to the island. How do we do that? We're gonna go back to this part right here. I'm gonna name it something special because this needs to happen because 
this is where the player is going to be teleported to. And we're gonna we're gonna call it Rock Island Telly. Okay. So we need to give it a specific name because we we need to actually access this brick from this script. And we're gonna say um or actually let me let me explain what we're gonna do that how we're gonna do that in a second. Uh first we need to get the character's torso. Uh, this this is how player we already have the player because we set a tag for it up here player dot character and you can just do that to easily get the player's character um, and then we're gonna say dot torso because the torso is held inside the player now um, now that we have the torso let's just set a little tag to it torso equals oops can't type at the moment torso equals player dot character dot torso now we just have to teleport it in the same way that we teleported Jimmy and I'm gonna show you I'm just for a little refresher I'm gonna show you how we did this we basically just took Jimmy and changed his C frame um, and we're gonna sort of do it in this way but a little bit actually more simple in a more simplistic manner so we're gonna say torso dot C frame equals uh, game dot workspace dot what is it called again rock island telly that's why we had to name the brick a, spe a specific name because uh, rock island telly we we couldn't just say dot part if we had it called part then it could choose any part in the workspace we're just that's pretty um, understandable I think rock island Ellie. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to do now? Just for fun, let me show you. We can actually do this instead. Just move this up here. Let's see, wait a minute. Uh, C frame equals. Or never mind. <laughs> never mind. I didn't do anything. Okay, so we need to just set the torso C frame to that one C frame. The Rock Island Telly C frame. I hope I'm not over explaining this, but um, it's better to over explain things than to under explain things. So, bear with me here. Hopefully, this makes sense. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it because I already explained it in one of my previous videos. The C frame is um, kind of the rotation as well as the position of, of a part. And we're just setting the torso C frame to the Rock Island Telly C frame. And over here, I've I've made the Rock Island Telly. Where is it? Um, I've turned the can collide off, and I've put a script in here that makes it so that the transparency is equal to one. Um, that way, we can easily move around the parts without having it invisible. If we already had it like this, then we could just remove this simple script in here. Um, but I like being able to see it when I'm working, so I just have a script to do it for me when the game starts. Uh, now it should work if we go to F6. And press teleport to Rock Island. There's not a valid name or day one. Oh, okay, I think I did something wrong. Um, let's go back to it. What did I? Oh, game. Okay, this is what I did. Sorry about that. So game dot players. I accidentally had that singular instead of plural. Um, I guess I typed it wrong. See, so yeah, I game dot players. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, when we set this, when we set the player to up there, or when we set the player to the local player. Now let's try it again. Hopefully it'll work. And that's kind of good that that happened actually, because you know you got to see a little bit of debugging. Even super advanced scripters. I'm not super advanced. I, you know, I just kind of use my scripting powers as much as I can. So yeah, this teleports us to Rock Island, which is pretty cool. Because I'm too lazy to take the boat. You know, who needs boats? <laughs> anyway, now let's make the home teleport button work. All we have to do is copy all this, 
put it in this one. Okay. And then we just have to change change some change some things. So teleport home. Oops. Home. Um make sure we change this as well. Home. Uh okay, this is good. Except for this. It's just gonna do the exact same thing as the other button unless we change this. And all we have to do is um copy this. Copy the Rock Island teleports. And just put it home, or let's put it right next to the spawn point. And we need to change this one's name to, let's see, let's just call it home, Telly. And that's what we're going to use instead of the Rock Island one. So we just double click that. Home, Telly, dot C frame. So now that's what this green teleport to home button is going to do. Let's test it out. it should work properly so let's see teleport to home awesome teleport to rock island works teleport to home works good okay uh, I'm gonna go over the scripts one more time okay so let's just go from top to bottom wait one why do we have this it's because it needs to wait a second for things to load I guess uh, I haven't I don't have too much knowledge of why we have a wait here myself it's just when you're dealing with local scripts and you want to get the player in in this way you want to wait just for a second that's what wait does I can't remember if I've explained this before but wait you know it pauses the script for a second so that it uh, you know oh where was I going with this yeah <laughs> it just waits before it performs the next action and then it, then we just set the player because we need to get the player so that we can get the torso so that we can teleport the character. That's we just do that up here. We only need to do it once. Game dot players dot local player. Uh, and that's just one way you can get the player that way if you're using a local script. Okay, and then the button I can't remember if I explained this already. But another way never mind. There's another way to get the player. Um if you're not using a local script then this won't work but there's another way to get the player I won't explain that now but so then we just set the button to script parent that was already here uh, when we had it the way it was before and we just have a function here which teleports the character we called it teleport rock island then we got the torso from the player and then we got um, the we just uh, set the torso C frame to game dot workspace dot rock island telly dot c frame uh, the reason this works is because when you teleport or when you use c frame on a part it also gets any connected parts any parts that is connected to and brings it it teleports it with it um, and the torso is connected to all the other body parts in the in the player so if you're you just use like regular like dot position then it would kill the player because it would just teleport the torso to uh, away and like it just it'd be like having your whole body just ripped out of you and then your arms and legs and your head left over um, and then we just have the connection line right here which you should understand because I've explained that in a previous episode thanks for watching this video guys be sure to um, leave a like if you enjoyed if you're not subscribed yet be sure to subscribe and yeah I will see you guys later bye